everyone, it's Emily from The Penny Mama. We've made it to Lesson 8 of Silhouette Boot Camp. Today we will cover the Subtract All feature in Silhouette Studio. If you are just joining us, Silhouette Boot Camp is filled with many lessons that help us learn the terminology used in Silhouette Studio version 4 so that we can create any design we dream up. Subtract All can be confused with Subtract sometimes since they are so similar in name and task yet they do have some really critical differences that can be very important and helpful if you understand what each, what each function does. So let's jump right in. The subtract all feature allows you to stack two shapes and when used will subtract the part of the shapes that are overlapping each other. The key difference from the subtract feature is the top shape will stay intact um, when you subtract it instead of being deleted. The subtract feature will delete it completely. The subtract all feature will keep that design there. Um, we're gonna go over some examples of using the subtract all feature. So first we're gonna go over to split text. Up here, um, you can see I typed the words you and me. Um, I use the font impact. You can I like to move mine around. I like to do character spacing, make it a little bit closer. Same thing with me, make it bigger. However you want it, what size is that? Okay. Just kind of make it the size you want. Move it to where you want. And then again, fix that character spacing on your word. Move them closer together. Take your and sign. They're all separate words. If you can see what I'm doing, they're all separate. You, me, and and in the impact. That's one of my favorite fonts when designing things like this. Place you and me close together. And then place the and where you want it in the middle. I might have these a little too close, but we'll see. Okay, something very important is the design that you want to be in front, you want to bring that to the front. So what I'm gonna do is right click, bring that to the front. And then we're going to highlight everything. And then the modify panel is over here, the rectangle and the circle, and subtract all. So what that did, is then you can do this cool design, is it subtracted the area behind there, but it also left the design in there. So um, it's just kind of creating a split text and then plopping something on top, a design, a, another letter like and, or if you wanted a heart or whatever, and it makes it easier to uh, do a little split text. So I could move them apart like over here I can move them really far apart because they're a little bit smaller. I designed this one a little bit big. You can just barely have them offset. Anyway, so that's kind of this first example I have for you is split text. Um, in the word. Next is creating a knockout effect. The knockout effect is right here. The bunny um, that I showed you. So what I did is we'll one new one. I don't think I pulled up one. Yep. So let's do the knockout effect. I'm going to use that same font and type the word bunny. Make it as big as you'd like. Keep the character spacing closer. You can make it Sorry, you can make it a little bit longer. And then what I did is I just downloaded a bunny, just had it off of Silhouette Design Studio. And um, then take the bunny, make it the size you want. I'm gonna do the color of the word so it's a little easier to see. And then we'll make the bunny. Um, just make the bunny the size you want. Okay. 
you want to highlight this bunny, right click, and you want to bring it to the front. Then we're going to highlight everything. Over here to modify again, subtract all. Then you got to move your bunny, and you have a knockout effect. I just kind of did bunny since it's close to Easter. Um, and there you go. You can do any, pretty much anything you want. I've seen, you know, if you want to do cheer and a cheerleader jumping up. I just chose bunny because it was a, kind of went with this time of year. So that's kind of a simple way of showing you the knockout effect. Last, we're going to move to multicolor designs. And what I did is I went to Silhouette Studio and I grabbed, I'll show you. I grabbed this flower design. I didn't use every piece in there. I'm going to un ungroup. What I did is I used certain pieces. So I used this piece. Delete that piece. I deleted this piece. I deleted the leaf. So I just used these three pieces right here. Um, and I want to create my own design with different colors, but I want it to lay flat. Say I'm going to make a decal for my car. Um, I want it to be all one single layer. So what I did is I, I'm just going to move these pieces over here. I just wanted to show you how I got these three pieces. So what I did is I colored the one of them purple, this one pink, and this one green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here. Just line them up the way you want. I'm going to take my green piece. I'm going to move it over here. You want to right click and bring this piece to the front because this is your very top piece. And when you have everything lined up correctly the way you want it, and you have your piece centered the way you want it, you're going to highlight everything. You have a, a, gray, a light gray around the pink, a light gray around the green, and then you have the box around the purple. You're going to go over here to modify, subtract all, and I'll show you what that did. It cut it. So you have single pieces for each one. So you were you would you would cut the purple on your vinyl, you would cut the pink, you cut the green. And then when you're putting them on your car or wherever it is, the back of your computer case or wherever, you or the wall, um, you would put them all, you'd line them up and put them all on top of each other the correct way. And then you just have one single layer. Um Instead of having thick, a thick layer, you know, a layer of purple, a layer of pink, a layer of green, then you just have layer upon layer, and it looks kind of funny. So this is a great way to do. You can do it with any design. I just chose a flower because it was easy to show you guys um, how to do that. And then it'll be all one single layer. To bring it all together, even though both the subtract and subtract all functions remove the top image from the, the designs underneath, the subtract all leaves the top shape intact. Whereas when you sub use the just the subtract tool, it will remove the top image altogether. Um, that's all I have for you. Tune in next week to learn all about how to weld text and shapes, which is pretty much used all the time in Silhouette Studio. Thanks guys.